So let's fact check those stories, right? Let's first of all talk because there is still some media commentary around around did actually rents increase? There's been great debate about this. There's even some fact checking that goes on and articles that you can find. So into, inside that ABC News fact check story, um, they are saying that real rents in terms of the changes through 1985 to 1989, you can see this period through here in terms of, so they were only claiming that real rents only increased in the Sydney and the Perth markets. Now, why did they just do real rents as opposed to actual rents? Well, to get this argument over the line, what they did is they removed the inflation increase. Can you do that? Can you just remove the inflation, can you? Well, to try and make their argument work, they well, did. If I go and buy something, can I remove inflation <laughs> out of that? Do I, do I have to pay the actual <laughs> amount, you know, the out-of-pocket amount? So irrespective of whether they did this, so I went and did a little fact-checking myself. And I can tell you that in 1985, inflation was running at 7.5%. In 1986, it had, it had decreased slightly to 6.9%. And then 1987, it was still running pretty hot mm. at 6.5%. Now, why is that important? Well, that's important that if you actually have a look at this data again, and you can see the percentages that were declining, if you actually put what we would call as payable rents, and you added those inflation numbers to those payable rents, uh -oh. everything would have increased over that time period. That so rents would narrative. have gone up in every state and territory. So to claim that real rents didn't go up is not actually what the ultimate renter is paying. So that's fact number one. Let's move on and let's also see what other data we found during that period. And what we found in terms of did rents increase, what we've got here is, this is uh, information from the Real Estate Institute of Australia. And so now what we're looking at, we heard those two markets, it was clear in the other fact checking that we just did, that Sydney and Perth rents went up. So to read this, it's pretty simple in the orange, uh, rents in Sydney went up by 58% um, and in Perth, rents went up by 38%. So for clarity, folks, the orange is the period when negative gearing was removed as it was known prior and the yellow or amber is the two-year period afterwards. So there's the two-year period it was disappeared and yep. there's the two-year period afterwards. Now, what's also important to note here that in Sydney, rents actually started to fall once negative gearing was reintroduced. And the number that, or the line that you want to follow for that is this is the vacancy rates. So you can see as the vacancy rates, so i.e. as supply started arriving, uh, vacancy rates went higher and then obviously rents started to cool off a little bit. Now you can see in Perth, the vacancy rate sort of bounced around a little bit. It was definitely coming down. So supply of rental properties was obviously decreasing during that time. And you sort of see it bounce around a little bit. But between that 2 and 3% sort of talks about a balanced market. So you can see that even though rents continue to increase uh, on these three-bedroom apartments, uh, three-bedroom houses. Now, what, why is three-bedroom houses important? Well, you go back all the way to 1985 or 1987, that was pretty much the majority of stock. We didn't do a lot of, you know, high-rise living inside, um, you know, CBDs and sort of that inner city living. We literally got in our cars and drove out to our, you know, sort of three-quarter acre blocks and lived in our, you know, white picket fence homes as part of the Australian dream. Let's move on and have a look at some of the other states and territories, uh, sorry, capital cities as well. So with Brisbane, Rents up by 32%, and now they did continue to increase by 23% through that remaining period. In Melbourne, rents went up by 14% and still continued to increase during that time. But importantly, at a rate that was lower when that when it continued to Correct. increase, it was a rate that was lower than the time when the um, the rules were adjusted. That's exactly right. So so and then here's let's round it out. We've got Adelaide and we've got Canberra. So again, rents were growing faster to Bryce's points during that period. And then even though they were still growing, they were growing at a lower pace. Now that's 100% of the marketplace where, you know, where basically we saw those rents um, increase over that time. So what's the next part of that story? What about the supply side, Bryce? 